Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome to Russ Can Fly. Back in 4 9 Quebec. Let's get it! Perfect. All right, so it is a little bit of a gusty day. Um, and so it is going to be interesting. So a couple things that are going on with this flight and my mission today is one, I am going to be pushing my personal minimums on my crosswind takeoff. So my personal minimum for a crosswind takeoff is eight knots. Today it will be 10. Um, and so I will say that at any point, if I feel uncomfortable, I'm gonna chop the power, get on off, taxi back and be done. So, uh, so runway 33 is closed today here at the Northeast Philadelphia airport. I'm not exactly sure why. So I'm gonna have to um, take off on, I think it's 2-4. And I've never taken off on that, that runway before. So that's gonna be another first. Um, and then my plan was to do some maneuvering around the Pottstown VOR and try to you know not to get too far ahead but just navigating to the VOR and maybe trying to do you know a hole just to see if I can fly a pattern with the turning and twisting um, and any throttle or talking I won't need to do any talking because I won't be talking to ATC so but yeah I want to just kind of get used to start flying to um, you know flying to VORs and navigating that way all right, so that's pretty much it. So I'm going to get this engine started and we'll go from there. All right, so we're going to turn our battery master on, alternator switch on, electric fuel pump is going to go on, fin light is on, navigation lights is crying, mixture is going to go full rich, throttle open to a quarter of an inch. All right, primed. All right, here we go. Clear prop. Okay, so this is my first attempt and I figured, all right, it's been a while since I've started this plane. And um, so figured maybe three shots of prime at first, maybe I'll do a couple more. And uh, that should be the ticket. Now, one of the things I'm always mindful of anytime I try to start an airplane, if it doesn't start on the first couple tries, I let that starter cool down a little bit because I don't want to be that guy to like burn out the starter. But as you can see in my face, I'm not too happy. Come on, Quebec. So it's at this point that I'm beginning to realize that this may not happen. And again, I don't want to be that guy that, you know, it's it's pilot error. You know, I don't, I'm not doing anything, something right. So I'm checking my, you know, the checklist. But, you know, I, I'm starting to get concerned about the number of times I'm trying to start this airplane. So I made a little unwritten rule for myself. I don't want to be the person to burn out a starter or overheat something or heaven forbid, you know, cause a fire. So I've got a rule of five. If by the fifth time I don't get this plane started, it's not going to happen. So as you can see, I am hot in this cockpit. I'm pissed. I'm like, oh my gosh, come on, give me some air, give me some air. But yeah, so I'm gonna try it one more time because um, that's that unwritten rule I have for myself. Come on. And now. if it doesn't happen, then yeah, no. Come on. Now.
And it's at this point that I'm like, ugh, my rule of five, you know, no, I want to, I want to fly, I want to fly, but yeah, no, and you could just see resignation on my face, I'm going to follow my rule, and um, yeah, it's just not going to happen. All right, as you can see, um, I am packing up, and for whatever reason, just couldn't get this plane to start. And I know there's like, you know, for Niner Quebec, the first time I flew it, you know, it's definitely like tricky, but you gotta do something with the, you know, the gas and the throttle. And I mean, the gas and the throttle. The throttle and the mixture to, you know, kind of catch it. So it's it's a little, you know, it it's a little quirky, which is okay. Um, but as you can see today, I just didn't seem to be really getting anything. And so, Two things I was worried about was, you know, flooding out the engine, of course, um, and, you know, starting a fire um, or over cranking it, you know, just, you know, messing with the starter. So I usually try between five or six times. If it doesn't catch by then, then I usually, you know, leave it alone and, uh, you know, stop, you know, stop trying because I just, you know, I don't want to break anything or you know, wear down the battery or wear down the starter prematurely. Um, try to respect the equipment. So, but for whatever reason, you know, it just, it just would not start. Now, here's the thing, as you heard earlier, right? That today I would be pushing my boundaries on, um, on my crosswind takeoff and landings. My personal minimum is eight. Uh, today I would be somewhere in the neighborhood of around 10 maybe even 11. And so I am very frustrated that I can't get to fly today because you know, you see the joy. I, I, I love flying. Um, but at the same time, you know, I, I do have all of you praying for me and I pray, you know, um, that, you know, the good Lord keep me safe. And so I just see it as even though it's frustrating to not be able to fly, I just chalk it up to, hey, the Lord sees everything. And he sees what would happen if I get up in the air on a seemingly beautiful day today, because that's that's kind of like how life is, right? It's those seemingly beautiful things that kind of trip us up. You know, my dad used to always say, all that glitters isn't gold. Um, and it took me a while for me to get to a certain age before I understood what he's talking about. But at any rate, um, yeah, I, you know, I, I chalk it up to, you know, you guys praying and your prayers being heard and answered. Um, and part of the answer to the prayer was me not, you know, getting into a situation where, you know, I couldn't handle, um, you know, what was about to happen. So. You know, I, I just see it as God seeing fit to keep me on the ground, keep me safe, uh, and to live to fly another day. So, so that's how this, this thing goes. You know, I had all of these plans, um, and there was all these things that I wanted to do. Um, but what I wanted to do, um, wasn't, wasn't what I should do. Um, and obviously what I should do is keep my behind on the ground. So, you know, <laughs> although it's not my choice, I'm going to take it as that this is the right choice um, and just leave it at that. So, yeah, so I'm just going to continue to uh, pack up all my gear. I've already handed in the keys um, and, you know, I just have to figure out another time to get on the schedule and come on out and fly so uh, why didn't you start okay anyway i'll get over myself um <laughs> uh, so anyway it's not like i don't have other stuff to do so anyway i'm just rambling because i'm a little disappointed but you know sometimes it's you know i i i was you know last thing you know my wife was talking about she had applied for this job she didn't get it and she was talking about you know how she you know she's she's being honest she's disappointed you know but at the same time i think i think it's that same thing you know if it's sometimes it's something that you want and if you get it 
you would probably not be happy in the long run um, when you did get it, you know, and you would be thinking to yourself, I shouldn't have really done this. Uh, but now that I'm here, I'm stuck. Um, but, you know, suffice it to say, you know, the stakes are high, you know, and I wouldn't want to get up there and be like, oh, mommy, help me. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Get me down. You know, so, you know, that's pretty much it. So I've rambled on enough. You've heard me complain enough about not being able to fly. And I got to turn this camera off and put it away because it's my last thing to uh, to put in my flight bag, which is gaining in pounds by the <laughs> by the day. It's like I put more and more stuff in this bag. It's just crazy. So anyway, I thank you all for, you know, being patient. And I know, you know, for this Upload Friday, this isn't exciting watching me just kind of talk. Um, and trust me, definitely not the, the route that I wanted to go. But obviously, this is the route that I needed to go. So anyway, with that, I'm out. Russ kid. Russ can't fly today, but prayerfully, I'll be able to fly another day. All right. Take care. Peace.